has been a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. You're watching WSIL TV3. We are the Southern Illinois News Leader. This is News 3. She was an excellent woman. I never would have thought she'd ever do anything like this. Friends and family are in shock after learning that this young mother may be to blame in the death of her child. Good evening. A three-year-old Heron girl is dead and her mother has been charged with aggravated battery of a child. Last night, police responded to the Ten Oaks apartment complex on New Route 13 in Heron after officers say they received a 911 call about an unresponsive child. For more on our top story at 5, we're joined live by News 3's Kristen Craig. Kristen. Well, Jackie, three-year-old Bianca Starr was pronounced dead last night around 8.30 at the Heron Hospital. Her mother, 18-year-old Carrie Starr, is being held at the Williamson County Jail. Bond has not yet been set. Those close to the family say they always knew Carrie to be a loving mother and can't believe this tragic turn of events. Today I sit down with Carrie's ex-boyfriend who says he thinks of Bianca as his own child. Shane Griffiths says when he was dating Carrie, the mother told him she believed in physical discipline, but he never saw Carrie's spanking as abusive. Carrie is a student at John A. Logan College in the nursing program, and Shane says Bianca went to daycare there. He described the little girl as smart and energetic. She loved people. She loved playing. She always wanted to go to the park. Every time we'd go drive by a park, she wanted to go to the park. She loved McDonald's. She's a normal kid. An autopsy was conducted this afternoon. Neighbors at the Ten Oaks apartment complex say they saw Carrie drinking last night. Some also say she had blood on her shirt. Jackie? Thank you, Kristen. Two people are dead after a single car accident in Williamson County. It happened around 7 this morning at the intersection of Route 13 and Old Bainbridge Trail. Marion police say the car was traveling eastbound on 13 when it hit a utility pole. Two passengers inside the vehicle were killed. Officers say the driver was cited for improper lane usage and DUI. The names of the victims have not been released. An Ida man involved in one of two fatal accidents on I-57 remains in critical condition tonight. Officials with St. Louis University Hospital have confirmed that 77-year-old David Blood is still being treated for major injuries. Blood was transported to the hospital after a multi-vehicle pileup that happened Friday night around 9.30. 80-year-old Paul Blood of Ina was killed in that accident. It was the second of two major car crashes on the interstate that evening. Well, no complaints on the weather. It's been another beautiful fall day. Weather first, Deborah. Yeah, we've had temperatures that have come up from most of us, the upper 40s for the overnight lows. And we headed back up into the low 80s. Taking a look at that temperature spread on our weather bug, we can see, look at the cool start there at Harrisburg, 47 all the way back up to 84 degrees. 48, it was the start in Vienna, up to 84 as well. And you can see, well, low of 50 for the morning temperature there in Marion. And uh, right now, we're holding on to those temperatures in the low 80s. Now, as we go into tomorrow morning, we're going to call it partly cloudy. In fact, I think we're going to see a quick increase in the clouds and for the morning temperatures around 54 degrees. And then by afternoon, we have to put in a chance for a few showers. It looks like as the cold front tries to push through the region, it will bring the chance for a few showers around. Look for high in the afternoon around 79 degrees. It looks like that shower chance is going to be a short one, though. Mostly tomorrow evening into Tuesday morning. We'll take a closer look in the forecast in a little bit. Jackie. Thanks, Deborah. Congress is expected to pass the $700 billion bailout plan sometime today. So how will the announcement of that plan affect Wall Street along with Main Street? ABC's Bianca Goladriga has the story. It's Wall Street's message to Main Street. Our problem is your problem. Main Street first! Main Street.